Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We have this uh, with this lab that's designing your Java classes. So we have this, um, you know, we've created this Gen your mo Gen my model, uh, these dog classes, and we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to go ahead and um, set up our project to work properly. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at what I've already done in two places. We're going to take a look at what it looks like in Eclipse and we're also going to take a look at what it looks like on the file system because we really kind of have to do two things. Okay, so we're in Eclipse. I'm sorry, we're in the file system. And remember in your workspace, so my, my workspace was in Document Student um, and then we have this Project 1, so that's your Project Folder, right? Okay, so remember if we want to, in Eclipse, if we want to reference like files like a image file or a sound file then we put it right here inside project one so we see the project one folder and um, then we put the wave or JPEG files inside of that project one folder in this case that stops us from having to reference files by their complete by their complete uh, file name okay so we can just basically we can say dog.jpg not C colon slash slash uh, users slash student slash documents slash uh, project one. Okay, like that, right? We don't have to use the entire file reference, right? We can just call it dog.jpg. Okay, the other thing that I've done is I've gotten those. Um, now we use GenMyModel, okay? We, you really don't have to, but we got those. I got the generated files off GenMyModel. Uh, and basically, I went inside Project 1, inside the SRC folder, the source folder, um, and I created a folder called Dogs. Okay, so that's where my, um, my actual uh, package is going to be written, right? So that's where I'm going to make all the files for my classes, is inside this Dogs package that Java calls it. It's a folder in the file system, okay? All right, so I made this Dogs folder. And what I did was I just put all those... Um, Java files that were created by GenMyModel. Okay, now for our assignment, we only have to create. This is a bit of a change. It's a reduction in the assignment. Okay, because if you had five things the dog did and five dogs, obviously you need 25 separate files. Okay, which seemed like a little much. All right, uh, so if we just make it two dogs, it would be 10 files. Okay, that you would need. Much more reasonable, right? Okay. So for me, I'm just going to go ahead and delete one. So I'm going to have Chihuahua and German Shepherd. Dog, okay, is my other one. Okay, in this dogs folder. Okay, now what's the next set of files that I need is actually the sample zip file that I prepared for you guys for this assignment. Okay, so we're going to click on this link. Uh, basically, I'm going to download it. Okay, so it downloads. I can right click on it and put show in folder. Okay, so that's this dogs.zip. Okay, so now remember how Windows handles zip files. They're going to treat it's going to Windows is going to treat it like a folder. Okay, so if I double click into it, I can browse inside a zip. Oh, mine's set up to do 7 zip, so it's not going to do that, but you can double click into the zip folder. It'll show like a regular zip file. It'll show like a regular folder in Windows Explorer, but you have to drag the files out and that will automatically unzip them into the folder. For me, I'm going to go ahead and you can do this on your computer, 7-Zip's installed in your computer. I'm going to right click to 7-Zip, I'm going to go extract to, and then it gives me kind of this folder name based upon the original zip file name. Okay, I'm going to click extract, and that's going to give me this um, folder down here somewhere, okay, with the same name as the zip file, okay? So I open that up. All right, so now what I have inside this project, this dogs project, is I have two things. I have a set of sample dog images and wave files or sound files. Okay, those I'm going to take and copy into my dogs folder. So I'm going to right click copy. I have my other one still open in dogs. Okay, I'm going to go back to project one. Now I already have these, so I would go ahead and right click paste, and they'd paste in just as you see them here. Okay, then I'd go into my SRC folder into dogs again. Okay, and then I'm going to go get the rest of the folders that were in the sample zip file. Okay, so I go into SRC. Mine were in a hello package, but that's fine. We'll just change it. 
Okay, I'm going to select all the files. I'm going to click copy. And then I'm going to go paste these into my dogs package. Okay. And at this point, I have all the files that I need. Okay. The one file that I might want to, the one file that I maybe don't have is like a dog demo file. Kind of like I showed you guys the super class demo yesterday. I think I showed you that. No. I didn't show it. Okay. All right. Okay, I will right now. Okay, so at this point I have everything inside this dogs folder that I need. I've got my, my generated Java files. I've got my sample files from the assignment inside the dogs folder. I also have the sample WAV files and JPG files inside the project one folder. Okay, so I have everything taken care of with respect to the um, file system. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead over to uh, Eclipse and basically I'm going to right click on dogs and I'm going to go uh, refresh. Okay, and this will update. So Eclipse keeps a track of all the, f all the files that are inside your project. Okay, now it may or may not automatically update it against what's actually on the file system. Okay, so by clicking refresh you're telling, hey Eclipse, go and look at the file system and bring everything that's in the file system into the project. Okay. Now there are cases where you wouldn't want everything in the file system also in the project, but in our case we do. Okay. So we just click, right click uh, uh, the package and then click refresh. Okay. So now I'm going to go in. Notice how I get these red X's as soon as that I as soon as I bring those files in, I get these red X's. And all that is is the package is the <coughs> excuse me package declaration at the top. So I go ahead. I'm just going to open each file that has a red X on it. I'm going to update this package information. Okay, in each file, save it. Okay, just so everything is kind of ready to go. Okay. All right. So all the samples, everything. Okay. So notice I'm just updating the package information at the top of each file. Okay. Now I'm just going to go ahead and close out of everything just so you guys um, are kind of more... Blah. Um, okay. So here we are kind of at your beginning spot. Okay, so we have this dogs... Um, we have this dogs package. We've got our, our, our files from GenMyModel, right? You don't really need them, but you can use them. Okay, if you use them from Gen My Model, we'll go from there. If not, you would want to open up this superclass.java, save it under the name dogs, and edit it. Okay. All right. So so let's go open up. Go ahead and open up dogs or dog. Okay. Now that Gen My Model has these Java doc declarations. Okay. Now these are great. All right. You know, this is something if you were making a professional set of code or code that you're working on with some other people great. You put in comments, you comment the thing out. I mean, you really want to comment almost every single method, right? Um, however, um, because we're working on this kind of alone as an exercise, I'm just going to go ahead and remove these from dog. Okay. Okay. So I have my declarations here. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and delete them out. Um, there's a lot of them. Now there is a way to actually find and replace based upon um, starting and ending characters. So you could find and replace all these out. If I had, if I had more than a couple of files, I'd figure out how to do that. Okay, but we don't. So okay, so I have all this. Um, so I have all my kind of get and set stuff down here. So get age and set age. Okay. Um, those you can you can use okay that's a good good kind of habit to get into um, okay so uh, so basically what we do just to give you an example on get age and set age so get age would um, I put int instead of void okay um, okay so get so get age would go system oops System dot out dot print line, and then I'd put like uh, 
you know, dog age is, then we'd add it, or, you know, we'd concatenate with the plus sign, and we'd go ahead and put in age, right? Okay? All right, and I think I made a mistake here. Okay. So that is our, our get age, right? So basically, I'm just going to print out whatever the age is, right? For set age, basically, all I want to do is um, I just put age. Really, I wouldn't want to call it age. I'd want to call it like new age or something like that. Um, just because you don't want to have two variables with the same name and the same method is just not a good idea. So basically I'd say this dot age equals new age. That's it. Okay, easy. So that's my set method. All right. This just means the object that it's in. Okay, it means the age in the object that you're in. All right. Okay, so that's my get and set, me set methods. Okay, now how am I going to add um, let me just go ahead and move this constructor up because the constructor is where we're going to add a lot of stuff in. Okay, so let's say that I have this method called bark and a method called sit. Okay, now in the assignment for bark, I have to play a sound of a dog barking. Okay, and to sit, I have to play the um, the picture of a dog sitting. Now the tough part is that in German Shepherd, I have to show a German Shepherd sitting. And in Chihuahua, I have to show a Chihuahua sitting. Okay, that's the tough part, all right? So my strategy that I'm gonna use for this is that I'm gonna create kind of a generic function in the super class, okay? And you'll see what I mean by generic, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna declare a variable, so public string, and I'm gonna call it uh, image sit, okay? So image sit is for whatever object it is, whether it's a Chihuahua sitting, whether it's a German Shepherd sitting, that's the place I'm gonna store the file name of the dog sitting, okay? Now for the dog class, I don't have to do anything with that image sit. All I have to do is go down to sit and I have to add in the thing to show the image. Okay, so now how, here's how I'm gonna do that, all right? In the sample file that I sent you guys, in the superclass.java, okay, in the sample file that I sent, I have a show photo um, method, okay? So we're gonna copy that show photo method and we're gonna paste it into dog, okay? Sorry, actually, we're not gonna paste the show photo method. We're actually gonna, um, well, we are actually. Okay, so we're gonna copy it and paste it. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace that sit function See, I just pasted in show photo. I'm going to change the name of show photo to sit. I'm going to I'm going to delete the old sit method. Okay, so now I have a method called sit. It has this little extra thing called throws exception. Okay, which was necessary for this. Okay, you, you need it. And then it basically has one line of code. And what it is is it's going to it's going to use this display image .java to create a, a, an object. So we have a, a new image is an object of display image type equals new display image. And then I have to send the constructor some image, okay? In this case, I'm gonna send it image sit. Okay? So that should make sense to you guys. Okay, so I create a sit, a sit method. I use this display image class. That's gonna make the window, right? with the image in it, and I send it this image.sit, okay? Now, this wouldn't work in the dog class, right? Because image sit doesn't, doesn't contain anything. It doesn't contain the name of an image, right? Okay, so what I can do just to test it out is, sorry, uh, well, the thing is that in the dog class, because it's a super class, we never want to actually create objects of dog class. We want to create chihuahuas, we want to create German shepherds, but we don't want to create dogs, right? Because there's no such thing as a dog with, like, right? It's just a conceptual super class, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is that in my subclass, okay, <clears throat> well, let's go ahead and do bark too, okay? All right, before we move on, let's just do bark really quick. 
Okay, so I go back to my super class, my, my example file, right? So bark, I want to play a sound, right? Okay, so I, I, I copy play sound from the, the sample superclass.java. I paste that in just under bark. I'm going to change the name of play sound to bark. All right. Okay. And I'm going to I'm going to create a um, variable, okay, or a field called sound sound bark. Okay? All right. Then I'm going to copy sound bark and I'm going to paste it right in here next to play sound. Okay? So now my bark method says public void bark throws exception and then we're creating a new an object called new sound of type play sound that equals new sound and I'm sending it whatever is contained in the string sound bark okay all right now in the super class image sit and sound bark don't have anything in them okay because we're never going to create an object called sound bark or an object called image sit or uh, we're never going to have a dog of there's no such thing as a dog with no breed right okay Okay, so now we're ready to specify. Now we're ready to specify in our sub in our um, in our subclasses. Okay, the actual images. Okay, so we've we've made this method. It's going to work. So by doing it this way, we've made it so we only have to do this bark method and the sit method once in our super class. Okay, and then our subclasses. That's where we're going to specify what it does for each each breed of dog. Okay. So let's go ahead and open up Chihuahua. At this point, we have everything we need out of this sample. Okay, so we can go ahead and close it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to open up Chihuahua and German Shepherd. Okay, and here is where in the Chihuahua and German Shepherd, it's going to have significantly less code because we're writing all of our methods in the super class. Okay, so remember that because um, Chihuahua, see where it says Chihuahua extends dog? Okay, because it extends dog, it comes down with all the methods that I've written in dog. All right, so really all I need to change is I just need to specify what image is, basically I need to specify all these fields. I'm just going to go ahead and specify these fields inside Chihuahua. Okay, so I have Chihuahua. I have a public, I have this constructor called Chihuahua, right? Okay, in this case I'm going to take out my... In my gen, my model, I put, um, I put uh, in the constructor, I had it like accept um, parameters in the constructor, but we don't need to do that, okay? So inside Chihuahua, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and paste in um, all these variables, right? Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this, this dot age, whoops, this dot color, this, this dot name, this dot image sit, and this dot sound bark. Okay? And for age, I'm going to make my age equal zero by default. I'm going to make the color equal uh, brown because it's a kind of light, let's call it light brown for Chihuahua. Name, I'm going to name the Chihuahua Tim. Okay. It's a girl Chihuahua, so her name is Fifi. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Image sit. Image sit is going to be dog dot jpg okay and sound bark is going to be dog dot wave okay so do you guys see how basically i'm using i'm using these um these fields in the super class and then i'm just setting them in the constructor so that's basically all the code that will be in chihuahua i'm just making it so that in the constructor it's creating this this subclass of dog with all the attributes of a Chihuahua, okay? And I'm putting that code inside the, the constructor class, all right? Okay, so it's really, really super straightforward. 
All right. So so um, and there's other ways to do this. I mean, this is just one way to do it. All right. So we can do the same thing for German Shepherd. Okay. So for German Shepherd, I do the same thing. I can literally just paste in. Once I have these written out, I can paste it in. So for German Shepherd, we're going to say the German Shepherd is black and brown. Okay, the name. Um, it's not Jenkins. <laughs> it is uh, Julie, also a German Shepherd, also a girl. Okay, so um, we're going to just now, guys, I'm just using the samples that I have. So I have Super Dog and Dog, basically, are my two sample files. I'm just using those samples here. Okay. All right, guys, so that is basically it, okay? So so there's the example. So for sit and bark, okay, for sit and bark, that's pretty much it. So whatever, so basically by defining it in the super class, I'm saying, okay, when, when I call the bark method, play sound bark, whatever that's defined as. For chihuahua, sound bark is dog.wave. For German shepherd, it's super dog.wave, okay? find it is that in the constructor okay all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create a demo of this all right so to create our demo where we're actually gonna do something with it we're gonna go to dogs we're gonna right click new class and I'm gonna call it dog dogs demo okay and I am gonna make a public static void main okay all right, so all I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna test out my, my bark and my sit, okay? So the first thing I have to do is I have to go, um, so I'm gonna create a, an object of type German Shepherd, so I'm gonna type German Shepherd. Um, I'm gonna put new German Shepherd, okay? Remember, that's just the name of the object. I could name it anything. And I'm gonna type in the new keyword and I'm going to do German Shepherd, the German Shepherd constructor, right? So that's German Shepherd with a um, parentheses afterwards, okay? Now I'm going to also create an object. So remember, this is like the cookie cutter in the cookie, right? Okay, my cookie cutter is this German Shepherd.java. My cookie cutter is the Chihuahua.java. These two lines is where I actually make the cookies, right? So now new German Shepherd and new Chihuahua which is obviously misspelled. Okay, this is where I actually create the objects that are the, the Chihuahua and German Shepherd. So I have two objects now, after these two lines, I have two objects. One's called New German Shepherd and one is called New Chihuahua. Now I can call, um, now I can start to call methods on those objects, okay? So I can call German Shepherd.bark or sorry, new German Shepherd dot bark. And notice it even gives me IntelliSense, right? So it gives me code completion because these are in the classes. So now I've created an object of type German Shepherd. It goes and looks at German Shepherd dot Java. It knows that those two methods are in there, right? So we have bark and we have bark for Chihuahua. Notice in Chihuahua it's giving more and there must be some reason why that is, but Okay, all right, so we call bark on both, and then we're gonna call sit on both, okay? And I must be doing something wrong because it's giving me a lot of errors. Okay, so we have these errors where it's saying uh, um, unhandled, ex unhandled um, execution type exception. Okay, so basically when in ex 
uh, Eclipse will help us with this add throws declaration. We have basically had an add, need to add throws exception. And the reason for this is if we're calling something in here that can throw an exception, which is this sit or bark, okay, those exceptions need a place to bubble up to, essentially. Okay, so um, so this, this uh, static void main, we need to add a throws exception. Okay, all right, guys, so we can go ahead and run this and let's see what happens here. And it may go well, it may not go well. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so the demo, it's the dog's demo that we actually run. Okay, I know guys, so my, my images are off. Um, yeah, my images are off here, okay, so. Um, okay, so that's a great question. Why does it bring up two images? So, basically, if you see the way that this ran here, Basically, see this new German Shepherd dot bark, new Chihuahua dot bark. So I'm calling them in succession, right? So it's not like I'm ever closing the 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 image files, or I'm not telling it to wait. I'm not telling anything. I'm just calling everything all at once, right? So if say if I had ten images, it would pop up ten windows all at one time, right? So okay. I'm sure you can add code like wait for this window to close until you do the next one, but that's beyond the scope of our project. So, Okay, guys, so this should get you off and running. It, I know it's a fairly complicated thing to do. This is your first time kind of putting things together, okay? Um, but if you want to get, if you want to make cool stuff, it's as complicated as it needs to be, okay? So that's as exactly as complicated as it needs to be, all right? Okay, good.